This is Cringe, Sharp, Briggs, and VT. We want the touchdown. We not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street because them bulls out the can and they about to stampede. I don't know if you know us, but me, Crenshaw, and VT all dropped a, a kind of a YouTube short about what we think is going to happen this year. Mine is kind of I'm a, a, a basic white girl, basically. I said, uh, I said, Nico Collins is going to be the wide receiver number one, have a breakout year. Crenshaw said, this is where it gets a little spicy. Crenshaw said, uh, Devin Singletary. Devin Singletary will take the number one spot at the running back position. Mm. And BT, he went went defense and said, J, uh, Jane Petrie will not just make the Pro Bowl, but an all pro. On your opinion, which one do you think is more likely? Which one do you think is going to be more likely to happen? And which one do you think is more interesting? Okay. So I want Jalen Petrie to be an all pro. But I also want to learn how to tackle better. And I do like him a lot. I, I think he's got a lot of potential. But you're you're talking all pro, talking, you know, one of just what three, four safeties in the league that we're talking about. So I I, I think that one's unlikely. Crenshaw's singletary one intrigues me Ooh, because okay. I love Pierce. He runs violently, and that might hurt him, literally. So that could theoretically lead to him a little paving the way for Devin Singletary to step in there, maybe be the running back at the end of the year. Singletary has been a pretty dynamic back before. He runs for power. He's small, kind of like a Cormorian's Maurice Jones Drew. Maybe not as explosive, but he's just built in a small bowling ball style. It's like a linebacker. Like imagine trying to see past an offensive line, this little tiny guy that's that's running around back and forth, back and forth. To your point about Nico Collins, it is such a crapshoot with that number one wide receiver spot. I don't I, I don't know if they're really going to have a number one wide receiver by the end. So I would say for both, it's Crenshaw. I, I the, the Singletary idea, that's not one I had thought of. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Damian Pierce is probably going to get hurt at some point. I hope it doesn't happen. Marion but... Barber. Yeah. That's what you run like, Marion Barber, man. Rest in peace, yeah, for sure. Uh, all right, BT, you have any, anything to say to that? Yeah, um, let me just say why I think Jalen Petrie actually has the best chances of being the first uh, Casera area era uh, All Pro. Um, there hasn't been an NFL rookie that had 125 tackles and five interceptions since the year oh, yeah. 2000. So he's he's damn good. The reason why he had 36 missed tackles is because he's a ball hawk. He's everywhere. He tries to be everywhere. His motor is insane. If we had um, an actual front seven, an actual pass rush, <laughs> he wouldn't fair. be having 147 tackles, and you wouldn't have 36 missed tackles. He, no DB should have 147 tackles. The fact that we had him and Jonathan Owens being the tackle leaders shows you how horrible our front Jonathan, seven was. Jonathan Biles. Jonathan Biles. Jonathan Biles, yes, M Mr. Biles. Um, that shows you how bad our front seven actually was. We, we should have a much better pass rush. I don't think it's going to be dominant or anything, but it should be much better with Will Anderson, Sheldon Rankins. But yes, Jalen Petrie is him. And and the thing is that once he is no longer having to just run everywhere because he actually has some help, right? And now he has Jimmy Ward on the other side too. That I think that the missed tackles situation gets a bit more resolved. I think it should be, uh, you know, definitely under 20, but hopefully under missed um, uh, double digits, you know? So, so let's hope that that part goes away, but I think that he actually has a chance within a D'Amico Ryan scheme to actually get more picks too. And, and more pass deflections. He had eight pass deflections too. So like, it's not like this guy helped in the run. This guy helped in the pass. The dude was just everywhere. He's he honestly is my favorite player on the team right now. I know a lot of people either say CJ Stroud or Jamie and Pierce, which I understand, obviously. But there is something about Jalen Petrie that makes me think that this guy could eventually be one of the best defensive backs in the league. And, and I'm being serious. The only way he makes all pro is the Tetons have a good record. He had an all pro season last year and didn't make all pro. So how can he, he top He was that? in the conversation for defensive rookie of the year. And I agree. The, the big problem about uh, all pro and being pro bowls is it's a popularity game. Like he should have definitely been at least a pro bowler last year with the season he had. But That's I think awesome, that we will win seven games. And so he gets in that conversation. 
Uh, he, got, he got to make some noise, and we don't have no primetime games for people to see him as well. So that's what's going to hurt him right there. And there's other name brand safeties that he's going to have to beat out, which, hey, it, it's possible, but it's Derwin James, it's Minka Fitzpatrick, it's, it's Buda Justin. Baker, although Buda Baker may be less so because Buda Baker's um, situation is actually the, the worse guy, than guy, The guy in Denver, was his name? Justin um, Simmons. Justin, Justin Simmons. Simmons, yeah. yeah. So it's a lot, and those guys are already out on the scene. Uh, in, in the AFC South, uh, Kevin Byard, I mean, he's always, yeah. uh, uh, um, you know. I, I hope I hope you're right, BT. I hope you're right. You not really in touch if you not tuning in. This is Crin Sharp Briggs and VT. We want the touchdown. We not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street, cause them bulls out the pen and they bout to stampede.